Uh, but I know some people need their playoffs out there. And Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com is here to answer your fantasy football questions. So if you have questions, continue to text them in. Text ESPN and your question to the number 89,000. Jeff, welcome back. How are you? Good to be here, Mike. Always good to be on the air with you guys. Absolutely, pal. And uh, we got Thursday night football tonight. We got a clunker of a game, but do we have any uh, intriguing fantasy options tonight? Uh, the number one option I go with is probably the Jacksonville defense. Um, but I think that this game is probably going to be pretty timid. Allen Robinson is probably number one wide receiver that's out there. Allen Hearns probably going to try and play, but he's probably not full strength. On the other side, Doriel Green Beckham is a wide receiver three candidate, and Delani Walker might be one of the more healthy receivers for Tennessee, but I'm not expecting too much. All right, uh, let's take a look at some of the other games. Well, let me ask you real quick about where we're going into quarterback. Mariota uh, in, in the game tonight. Uh, what about Mariota now about halfway through his rookie season? Is he a consistent fantasy player for you? He's not quite consistent enough, and even worse is that he doesn't have a good supporting cast. The running game is not non-existent. The receivers are getting banged up. Doro Green Beckham, as I mentioned earlier, he's young, has talent, but not developed yet. I think uh, next year is really the horizon for him. All right. Uh, how about Tom Brady? Losing Edelman, lost a couple more targets. Uh, Deion Lewis is out. Uh, is that going to affect Brady in the fantasy world? Well, with Edelman going out, you have Denny Amendola, who's almost a clone of him. They can step right in. So I think they're, they can... They can just keep on chugging. Uh, I think this is the week, though, with Rob Gronkowski, who's just owned Buffalo. I think Tom Brady can have a big game against the Bills with Gronkowski in a lot of action this week. All right, uh, Andy Dalton, uh, they finally uh, came back down the earth the other night, but uh, do you like Andy Dalton to bounce back against Arizona uh, in the Sunday nighter? That's going to be a very interesting and very entertaining game. Uh, from a fantasy perspective, Dalton's more of a quarterback, too. Um, there's some very good uh, uh Defenders on both sides of the ball for both Cincinnati and Arizona. I like Dalton. I like uh, Carson Palmer in general as quarterbacks this year, but Andy Dalton has a much tougher matchup, so he's more in the quarterback two range for me this week. All right, uh, Cowboy fans rejoice. Romo is back. Should he be back in your fantasy football lineup? Um, some people are thinking, you know, in, in daily circles, using it as a tournament play because I, that's where I have him. Uh, he's a he's a risky start this week. Uh, I think that they're going to run the ball a lot. Miami's not good against the run. You're probably going to see a lot of Darren McFadden at the backfield, which will ease things into Romo, who will probably look more towards getting the ball towards Witten over the middle and not have a big game. Uh, Kirk Cousins was the player of the week last week. Three touchdowns, uh, four touchdowns, no interceptions. He's got Carolina, though. Should you go back to Cousins if he gave you a win last week? I think you should relish the win and then move on because <laughs> it's not the Saints you're playing this week. It's the Carolina Panthers. So uh, I think that Cousins is a viable quarterback too, but Carolina is very tough and probably going to go to 10-0 this week. That's all the uh, Kirk Cousins questions I had uh, coming in this week. Everybody wanted to know, oh, should I play him this week? All right, let's go to some running backs here uh, and get your take on uh, some running back situations. Jeff Pasquino from the thefootballguys.com answering uh, all of your Week 11 fantasy football questions. All right, uh, first question, let's uh, start with uh, Darren McFadden. How is getting Romo back going to affect McFadden? I think that McFadden is going to set up Romo nicely. I think Romo being back is going to make the defenses play the, the pass a lot more than they had before. Not stack the box, which is going to open things up for McFadden and Romo on play action. All right, let's go to uh, LeGarrette Blunt. You know, you see him in New England. We never really know what's going on with the New England backs, but did last week uh, give us any insight on who's going to be the guy taking over uh, for Deion Lewis? Well, the guy taking over for Deion Lewis is probably more James White, but in reality, not many more passes are going to go to the running backs right now. It's going to go to Amendola, and it's going to go to Gronkowski. Um, and you also look Brandon LaFell back. Uh, last week, the game was not according to the, the game script. <laughs> Most of them weren't. It was a very strange week. But uh, I think that LeGarrette Plunt is going to be the guy with the Patriots having a fourth-quarter lead. He'll be the hammer right out of the clock, and he's going to be the number one back going down the stretch. All right. Uh, Matt Jones had a big week for uh, the Redskins. Uh, should he be a guy uh, that you should sneak into some lineups if you have some bye week issues? Again, he, it's a it, he's a borderline running back, too, because of the Carolina matchup. I think he is the, the best option 
especially in a PPR league for the for the Washington backfield. But I would look elsewhere if I could this week. All right, some wide receivers here for Jeff. Got some more questions for him. Jeff Pasquino from the thefootballguys.com answering your fantasy football questions as we get ready for oh, Man, I can't believe we're in week number 11 already. This thing is always seems like it flies by. All right, uh, can I trust Stephon Diggs if I'm going to the playoffs, Jeff? Uh, it, I think so. I think that he's a solid wide receiver, too, with some upside. I think he, we have him as wide receiver 14 this week, so he's got a good matchup against Green Bay. He had a rough matchup last week, but I think he's the number one option for uh, uh, for Teddy Bridgewater. I think he's going to remain there for the rest of the way. Uh, here's another question for wide receivers. Jeff, I need bye week help. If I have to pick up a Carolina wideout, which one should I use? Ooh, uh, I think he doesn't count <laughs> Greg Olson, so now I'm kind of I'm worried. Uh, I like Funches as a player, but he's a rookie. If I had to pick one, I would probably take Ted Ginn and hope that he could remember how to catch that week. Uh, Kamar Aiken is playing St. Louis. Is he a bye week fill-in for the week? Jeff, thanks for your help. Yeah, he's a wide receiver three option. i definitely throw him out there. Um, there are a couple other guys that are a little bit ahead of him, like Steve Johnson, a little bit more than him. Um, but as far as it's just a guy rolling out there, if you need off the wire, he's a good job. Rashard Matthews is another option to throw out there. All right. He's Jeff Pasquino from thefootballguys.com with your Week 11 fantasy football question. Thanks for everybody who sent their questions in this week. Get your lineup set uh, for the Thursday nighter if you have Titans or Jags. And uh, we'll be back with another edition of the Fantasy Focus next week. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, as always. And uh, good luck and enjoy the games. All right. You too, pal. There we go. <laughs> 